with Corinne Wild, assistant coach for the SPU volleyball team. Corinne and the rest of the Falcons getting ready for a big road trip this week to Simon Fraser in Western Washington. Corinne, we're halfway through the season so far. What have you seen from your perspective as the way this team has progressed through these first 16 matches? They've progressed uh, a ton. Taking a look at our first day in fall camp till now, um, the girls have worked extremely hard. Uh, I think with every win, we've learned something new about ourselves, and with every loss, we've learned um, multiple things about ourselves. So the way that the girls bounce back and, and come into the gym every day to work hard and, and get better has been just a joy to be a part of. And Coach Abby often talk about, talks about just the resiliency of this team. Mm -hmm. you talk about that a little bit from your point of view. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they came in, they worked extremely hard over the summer, so they came in very conditioned and, and ready to compete. Uh, so their resilience on the court mentally is just getting tougher and tougher. And you see that in our five set matches that mm -hmm. we may be down two, we may be down one, <laughs> um, but we take it set by set, point by point, um, and really just try to compete at the highest level um, that we can every night that we, we play. How are you enjoying Seattle? Uh, and, and talk about your experience here since you've been here for a few months now. Yeah, I've been here for a little while. Seattle's been great. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just the people. Uh, the people that I work with, working for Abby and with Abby um, and with the student athletes, it's been a great experience. And then um, just our administration, the, the support we have from each um, coach from each different sport um, has just been really fun to be a part of. And uh, the city of Seattle itself, uh, is beautiful and hasn't started raining too much yet, so uh, <laughs> Give still, <it> time. <laughs> still, still enjoying it uh, a lot. Have you had a chance to get out and explore the city a little bit or have any fun in the time when you've had some downtime out there? Uh, a little bit, not not a ton. I, I moved uh, and then we hit the ground running with season, so uh, not a ton, but um, yeah, I've done some of the touristy things like Pike's Place and downtown and uh, the Space Needle and all that good stuff. So. How are you enjoying your role here as an assistant coach and how are you growing as a coach as well as the team is growing as well? Yeah, I'm learning a lot from Abby. Um, she's uh, she's someone that I have always looked up to um, as a player when she was a player and then now as a coach. Um, just watching her and the way that she leads these girls um, on and off the court has been, has been something I've really enjoyed and something that um, I'm continuously learning from her and how she approaches each situation, whether we're you know making game time decisions yeah. or we're outside of the court just, you know, uh, counseling girls with how to how to manage and balance being a student athlete and how difficult but how uh, rewarding that can be so um, I've loved my time here I've learned learned a lot and um, just enjoyed enjoyed working with Abby as a coach Colonel, is there a particular strength you bring to the table maybe from a strategic part of the game or from your days as a player you know what do you bring when you're in the gym every day with the players honestly it's the first thing that comes to mind is just a passion for the game um, I've I've played a little bit of everything as far as when I was a player. Um, so I was an outside hitter. So um, I focus a lot on uh, the hitters and what they're doing. And then Abby being a setter as a player, she has that offensive mind as well. So okay. we both kind of tackle the defense together and then um, just looking at our offense. Um, but I think just adding to the passion that the student athletes already bring for the game of volleyball um, and then adding to um, what Abby's already established here at SBU in her short time she's been here. Simon and Western this week, two very tough customers. Your thoughts heading into those two matches and at their place? Yeah, it's going to be a tough road trip for us. This conference, the GNAC conference, um, I think as a whole is just a tough conference. It's any given night for any given team. So uh, you got to show up prepared. You got to you got to come willing to compete and, and prepare hard for those, those teams. So they're both having good years. So uh, we're going to get on the road and hopefully get some get some good wins. All right.